Hi everyone, I'm on for Thrifty Thursday, which is an open collaboration that's hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. This week I have a marketplace haul. It's fabric haul and I do have some other haberdashery as well. It is quite a big one, so do grab a cuppa. I thought I'll drag it all out and show you guys as I put it into piles to put away. Um, try and get it sorted. <laughs> So I was looking on Marketplace, there was a lady that had advertised the bags of different fabrics and they were really, really cheap. Now, do I need more fabric? No. Um, but one of the bags at least looked like it had smaller pieces of pattern fabrics. And I thought, ooh, the price was too good to resist. Also, what really attracted me was the money that she was raising was going to go to the flood victims here in South Australia. So I decided it was just too good a cause. They were too cheap. So I went the next day and had a look. So she had pulled out all the bits that she thought I would like. And there were a couple of bags. And when I went to give her the money, I went to give her double what she asked for because she wasn't asking for much at all and I just thought it'd be a nice thing to do to help out the flood victims and it still wasn't what it was all worth um, <laughs> and she didn't want to take my money and then I noticed that uh, she had a table out the front with all these bags of fabric to give away so I said well I'll take a few of these <laughs> and that made her happy so we both walked away happy so on the table out the front there were some bags of upholstery fabric and that and yeah they're awesome so we'll have a look at those i haven't actually looked at some of these some we had a look at because my friend carolyn uh, was over in western australia she's lacy creations on youtube i'll link her down below she said she was about a week or so away and then rocked up a couple of days later and stayed in my driveway for two nights <laughs> so that was the day that i got these so she went through it all with me so we had fun going through all of this. So we had a bit of a look, but this is amazing. Look at that. Nice long piece. Just the perfect height for journal covers too. So I did cut, cut some bits in half and send them off with Carolyn. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is gorgeous. And it's got some of this beautiful, I don't know if you call it, oh, it'd be embroidery on it. So I'll try not to be too slow. <laughs> We've got a lot to get through. Some of this silver. So there's some smaller bits and some bigger bits, but the smaller bits will be great for little mini journals or uh, fabric flips and that sort of thing. That's a beautiful colour, isn't it, for nature journals and autumn themed ones. So I don't know, my upholstery tub is pretty full in the cupboard, so I'm going to have to do some rejigging to fit all of this in, I think. But it's definitely worth it. Some of the grey. Oh, this is beautiful. It's almost like a velvet and velour style fabric. And it seems to have, it's almost like um, tree trunk pattern, which is really nice. Oh, I'm going to have fun with that. So there's a little bit more of that. Some more of the silver. So I might just try and keep those bits together. There's some of this which makes me think of Aztec style. So this is a booklet, a sample booklet by the looks. I don't know where it starts. There, I think. I don't know. different ones there. I think that came off the sample booklet as well. Isn't that pretty? I think that's the right side of that one. Beautiful pattern on it. could use that either side and it would look really nice. Well, it's going to be another cold one tonight. I'm 
looking forward to some warm weather if we ever get any. This is pretty, it's a peacock feathers. It's a weird colour, isn't it? But it's very nice. And this. It's another sample piece. Be nice for a nature journal again. Very, very generous of the lovely lady. And there's that fabric. That should be in the fabric bag, so I'll leave that. Put that in a different pile, I think. Isn't it gorgeous? So I think this lady had a sewing business and was shutting it down or whether she did it from her home, I'm not sure. She did have an overlocker as well, but I wasn't interested in the overlocker. <coughs> oh, this is nice too, some velour and it's purple. Lovely. Got a bag full of velour here, so that will be added to that. And this is, this is velour as well. Well, that's lovely. There's some more purple. It's slightly different, more of a lavender, really. Feels lovely. a nice pattern again that's definitely the right side there so I thought I'll get all these videos done with all the stuff and then I can put it away oh, it's a bit of stuffing I can use that for something <laughs> that's interesting Weird texture that one has. Big piece of that. There's enough there to make a big cushion or something. It's quite sparkly bit of a sheen to it that one now that's more sort of material isn't it there was another one like that near the start somewhere this one's more of a material this is material too it's interesting now only three dollars. It's a nice orange. It's a stack of that. She did have a lot more fabric, but it was mostly plain and big lots and that. And I told her that that's, I was more interested in smaller pattern pieces. <clears throat> this looks like plain, but that's all right. That's quite a nice color. These were probably in a freebie bag anyway, so. like some sheet so I'll probably end up using that as a rag put that down there that is beautiful 
nice and sparkly. That'd be nice in a mermaid journal, that one. green sparkly and that's the same as the other green sparkly nice long bit of that I just want to keep it together with the other one beautiful silky material there Interesting. Oh, that feels very weird. <laughs> Don't know what you call that stuff. It's bulbous. That's fascinating. Some more silk, satin, I should say, material. This is some plastic rubber material. Might have to try doing some tea dyeing with that. That feels really odd. Oh, and it smells odd. <laughs> I don't know why I've got to smell stuff. Put that down there. This is, what do you call that? Oh, no corduroy? That's nice though, nice and textured. I'll have to go through all of these when I go to put them away and um, cut the strip you know cut these bits off keep the squares and a nice and neat and then put these in with my scraps which i should be doing now but this video will be like way too long if i stop to do that a bit more upholstery fabric a bit more of your black satiny material oh <laughs> that's pretty that'd be nice for layering Fairy journals, maybe, that sort of thing. Princess ones. I'm getting bits of stuff all over me now. Beautiful. It's a lovely selection, isn't there, of different bits and pieces. That's nice. This is interesting stuff too. I don't know what you call it. Fleecy sort of material. Same as this sort of fleece. It's a lovely pink. Sort of coming apart on me. Some more of the blue, we've got some yellow of the same. Draw that is. That's nice though, I like that colour. It's almost already like a pocket for me. And this it's dress material. Looks like it's been a sleeve or a pant leg. More purple satin. Goodness, I can't believe this is all coming out of just the one bag. Oh, this is lovely. Look at the colour on that. Beautiful red um, velvet velour. It's a shirt by the looks. Is that a shirt or a skirt? Might be a skirt. Yeah, it's a skirt. Love that, that is gorgeous. Definitely do something with that. A cover with some gold trim. All right, 
getting down the bottom of this one. That's interesting. Feels beautiful. Would you call that played? Keep that from a Scottish themed journal, I suppose. That's really pretty, isn't it? And some more of the black. All right, I'm going to move these piles off the desk and we'll grab the next bag. Now, I think this next one is all, well, mostly all upholstery fabric. I've got this big piece, which is lovely. There was this lace. It was in one of the, like, freebie bins or something, but I only took this out of that bin. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got a bit of an olive -y tinge to it. Is very very nice and how do I get this out oh it looks like these are sample books oh nice I didn't even know that so just sample book high abrasion fabric high luster soft touch textile so it's like velour your lounges and that. Oh, this is beautiful. Size-wise, maybe not big covers, little covers and flips and embellishments. I suppose you could like quilt them together, <laughs> make a pieced cover with them. Got some beautiful colours though. And they've got the hangers, so I might even be able to hang them in my wardrobe. Yeah, I might be able to. Yeah, I do have some room, so I'll hang them. That'll save me a bit of space. And then there's... This is interesting. Let's have a look. Where does this one start? It's an enigma. <laughs> I have no idea. Hang on, I think I'm getting somewhere, maybe. Yes, there. There? Yep. <laughs> it's a quick flip. Well, some of them are lovely, aren't they? And these, I think, if we cut them off... Can we open these out? I think we just get a cover out of these ones, so that's good. And then there was this lot. All these plain colours. These are a bit smaller again, but that's all right. You could patchwork them. That'd be quite fun, I think, when I figure out how to do it. Just go grab the next lot. This. This was the best upholstery fabric I've ever seen in my life. It's got these butterflies on it. I love that one. There's a little bit more of this one. Don't know why I've got two pieces of that. <laughs> I hope I gave Carol and her piece. <laughs> got a funny feeling we accidentally left one here. But it looks like she got her butterfly piece. <laughs> I'll just grab a pile out. There was just a little bit of Peter Rabbit. So it was double this length, but it had the same pictures on each side, so we didn't have to fight over, fight over cutting different pictures off. So I was able to give Carolyn half of this as well. So absolutely lovely. There's this cute one with little roses on. It's a stack of that. 
There were some of these. I have like postcard on one side. So you could probably fold them over so around them and that'd be little material postcards. But they're very, very sweet. So there was that one. There's that one. That one. Some brown material. Don't know what those squiggles are. I think they're just squiggles. And some of this checkered material. So some lovely pieces for the more masculine style or farmyard or vintage. I think some of these would go nice with your Tim Holtz papers. So just such a lovely selection. one's really cool it's a pity there wasn't um bigger lots of it but this is still really nice for some pockets and flips this is like your lightweight denim style material there's a whole stack of that, which is nice. Nice and thin, so you get the denim look without the bulk. It's like sheet material. Some blue. This is Stonewall Farm, it says. It's slightly fleecy material. It's long. <laughs> Upside down. nice though even if you don't get the whole picture it's still really nice landscape so some pretty flowers on it a pin in it it's got different types of flowers Carnation there, maybe. More florals. Some green material. blue and some sort of beige which is nice I don't mind having little bits of plain colors like that some little scraps oh this is cute look at her and then we've got her she's a bit cheeky Another one of the flowers. And we've got some lovely girls. I think we've got a few of the same there. Yep. Be nice in the front of a baking themed cooking journal. An Elvis. Another bit of Elvis. Another cooking lady. More Elvis. Someone was quilting with these. 
That red is bright. Some more bright bits here with animals. Definitely have to sort through some of these because bits like that I don't think I'd use. So pass them on to someone who would. That's quite nice and retro. Some blue with flowers. dress material. This is interesting. Some more upholstery fabric. Just some black it's like shirt material. I don't know if it's a big bandana or something. I think it is. I like this retro. This is really nice too. It's a stack of that. Some with fruits on it. Feathers. Some plain blue. Little scrap. Oh, it's one of those with the gold that's sticky. Some pink. And dolphins. That's colourful. I don't know if you call that chiffon. Another retro style. These will be great, these ones. Some plain green, which is all right. Need some more green, some blue, some darker green, and some grey. Shirt material. This is like tablecloth, I think. Sort of plasticky or shower curtain. It's quite nice though. I think we'll have to do, um, have to do this in two parts and do the fabric in one and then the bits and pieces in another. Or else it's going to end up too long. That's colourful. <laughs> I think we've seen that one already. Some pink. Some of this brown with splidges. That's quite nice though. Polka dot. of different oranges this is interesting it's definitely fleece on the inside but it'll make a nice cover there's more of that shower curtain style material Some more satin, some blue material, just a button off of something that can go with the bits and pieces. Some 
sort of canvas material. Here's some more of that gold that sticks together. Yeah, it does get tacky. It's like Kylie's hot pants, isn't it? Look at that stuff. This is nice. Interesting feel to it, this has. It looks vintage, this does. I don't think it is, though. It's just got that look. Be nice for a circus. The seventies journals are a circus journal. So that is that bag. So I'll move this, and then we'll get on to the last bag. Okay, so I think I'm saving the best for last. By memory, I didn't really get to have the best look at them, so. This is more sort of that shower curtain-y type material. I have this, which is a tote bag that's been made already. Hmm. Not sure if I'll keep that as a bag or use the material for a cover. I'll have to think about that. This is really pretty. Banners and butterflies. More shower curtain material. That's curtain fabric, I think. I think we've got some quilting squares here and cute ones. So great for the little golden books. Those postcard ones. Stuff everywhere. It's pretty. And some pretty daisies. fruit and flowers on that. It's just beautiful colour. A few covers worth there. Love this one too. Some more vintage style tea setting. This is cute, possums. That goes down there. Polka dots. Look at that. <laughs> this looks quite abstract.
bugs. That's pretty cool. Cicadas, I think. And then on the back we've got some space scraps. Froggies. Leaves. This bag's got heaps and heaps of these bits in. Well, that's underwater. Cute underwater scene. Threads all over me. Strawberries. So yeah, some piece is not big enough for a cover, but definitely great for flips and other embellishments. Look at this, this is gorgeous. Pity again, it's just the strips, but still able to be used. This is a really nice autumn colored one. This one with the ballerinas. I love this farmyard one. Vintage style. Interesting. Berries of some description. Lanterns. Froggies. So lots of nice kitty ones, which usually I wouldn't go for, but I think that, that sort of thing would be great for your um little golden books, the kid style ones. Some sharks. More unicorns, there's more of that T1 stars. More unicorns. This is cool. More zoo animals. Cupcakes. This lovely texture on that one. Sharks. Must have been a big sheep, this one. Squares. Let's go through these and if I, there's a couple I might not, well, you know, I, I could use anything, but I do have so much here. I've got a lovely friend who likes quilting. Well, I've got lots of friends that like quilting apparently, but I've got one that might be coming to see me soon, so I might have to put some aside for her. Seems like the new th in thing, quilting. It was like slow stitching, now it's quilting. It's funny how things change. That's interesting. It's almost sari silk. It's the same 
sort of stuff. Ugh, I don't know about that one. It's a bit much for my eyes. Maybe in little pieces. Goodness, I tell you, I keep grabbing out of this bag and every time I look at it, it still looks full. <laughs> uh, blue, that would be nice for an ocean theme. Oh, more frogs. That's good. Though they're all like weird frogs. Ooh, what is that? Uh, zebras? Oh, it's all sorts of animals. Would you call that batik or something? It's very bright, isn't it? interesting. You could just cut the individual squares out though of that one. I know something about that reminds me of Space Invaders for some reason. I like that. Racing cars. Some more of that cooking one. Some more Space Invaders. Poker dots, poker dots. Oh, citrus. That's cool. I just stop bumping my table. Some satiny material. Paisley. Unicorns, sharks, what is that? Something with eyes. Yes, I thought the feet were eyes. Weird zebra things. Stars, more weird zebra things. More stars. More stars. It's quite interesting, that one. Hmm. That's very pretty, isn't it? Yeah, mermaid. I wonder if we've got the whole mermaid anywhere. I don't think so, by the looks of that. Maybe we can piece her together. <laughs> That's all right, though. It's still absolutely beautiful. Fruit. Lots of lines. That's different. Really like that one. Oh, here's some more of the mermaid. We might be able to piece it together. Fish. Some rainbows. And pirates. Elephanties, sharks, that's sweet, Our shells, they are huge. Dinosaurs and theory molecule experiment, that's cool. Could just cut out the little pieces. More animals. I don't think we went through all of this. Different patterns. I remember seeing this one. This is gorgeous. It's a fleecy one. And it's teddy bears and the honey pot. Isn't that cute with him watering the garden? That is precious. More space invaders. Some cherries, I think. This is gorgeous. I 
as is this. This is really cute. I think this is, is this the one we saw before? And I said, I hope we, you know, that we didn't have much of it. Yeah, I think it is. So we do have big pieces of it. What's it got? Isn't that so cute? So there's some covers in that. Purple. It's interesting that one. Some more teddy bears. Some monkeys and moons. This is pretty sheet material. Okay, I'm getting overrun here. Put it down there, I think. Dress material, that's quite retro. Oh, we nearly got her all there. This, uh, this too. That's the same one as before, isn't it? The farm scenery. Elephants. Rainbows. We're getting there. Stack of off cuts of that one. That's cute. Unicorn again. That's like upholstery style fabric. That's really pretty though, isn't it? This is beautiful. The peacocks, the peahens. It's vintage style. And this is lovely galaxy themed. So pity there's not really enough for a cover, I don't think, quite. A TN cover maybe with that lot. But you could just back some, you know, cut it into squares and back it onto some black fabric and it would make quite a nice cover. That is beautiful. We've got more patterns. Retro. Pretty with the butterflies. Oh, more cupcakes. Love this sort of thing. Beautiful. It's another canteen bandana, I'd say. Ballet dancer. There's another dancing one as well with an outfit. Okay, getting the last pile out now. There is an end to it. I've seen a lot of these before. Not that one though, that's pretty. Well, maybe we have. I can't tell anymore. We haven't seen this one. It's very interesting. It's almost like a curtain material because it's sheer. It's very, very pretty. Might even try tea dyeing some of that shabby style material. It's that. Rubber 
hand around that one. Which is nice. Another country themed one, beautiful. It's got a nice picture of the pig there. That's lovely. So that is it for the fabric. That is heaps. <laughs> I'm going to have fun trying to fit that into my shoe boxes that are full in my fabric cupboard. So I must go through it all and sort it into themes and colours and types. <laughs> so, and yes, I might have to put a little pile on the side for uh, my lovely friend who likes quilting. So I will get to that. So this is part one. I'll do a part two. I don't think I'll wait till next Thrifty Thursday to put it up. I'll probably put it up sooner than that. Get it done and dusted. But in part two, I've just got some ribbons, laces, buttons, some little bits and pieces like that to show you. So yeah, very, very generous of this lovely lady to do that. But it was great to see the money go into such a great cause. So, um, yeah, you never know what you're going to find when you go on Marketplace. There hasn't been much around for ages. And then just this last week, I've found two really great um, lo lots of bits and pieces. So, worth keeping your eye out. So, take care, be good, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.